Migraine is one of the most common and disabling disorders worldwide, yet its underlying pathophysiology is among the most poorly understood. Nonetheless, considerable progress has been made, with further understanding of the processes involved at each stage of the migraine attack, continuing to aid improved diagnosis and management of the condition. A migraine attack is split into four phases, prodrome, aura, headache and postdrome. In the prodrome phase, symptoms such as yawning, light sensitivity and mood changes commonly occur hours or days before the onset of headache. Recognition of these symptoms focused attention to the hypothalamus due to the key role it plays in circadian rhythm and homeostasis. One hypothesis is that in response to changes in physiological and emotional homeostasis, hypothalamic neurons activate nociceptive pathways and the trigeminovascular pathway through increased parasympathetic tone. Another theory is that due to low cyclical brainstem activity, the threshold for hypothalamic and brainstem neurons to transmit nociceptive trigeminovascular signals is lowered. Around one third of migraine attacks are preceded by aura. However, its clinical significance and underlying mechanisms continue to be debated. The most common aura symptoms are visual disturbances. However, it can also cause sensory, speech and motor disturbances. Studies suggest that aura is caused by cortical spreading depression, a slowly propagating wave of depolarization followed by hyperpolarization in cortical neurons and glia. It is initiated by local elevations in extracellular potassium that chronically depolarize neurons. The characteristic throbbing pain of migraine is widely accepted to be the result of trigeminovascular pathway activation. It begins when no susceptive neurons are stimulated and release vasoactive neuropeptides causing vasodilation of large cerebral arteries. Alongside input from the trigeminal nerve, this stimulates trigeminal neurons in an axon-like reflex which converges with inputs from adjacent skin and muscle to trigger the trigeminal cervical complex. Ascending pathways then transmit signals to multiple brainstem, thalamic, hypothalamic and cortical neurons leading to the phenotypic expression of migraine pain and its associated symptoms. Increased understanding of migraine pathophysiology has led to the identification of novel treatment targets, particularly the trigeminal synapse. New acute therapies largely target CGRP signaling through two distinct mechanisms. The blockade of CGRP to its receptor and the stimulation of serotonin receptors on trigeminovascular nerves, preventing CGRP release. Serotonin, or 5-hydroxytryptamine, 5-HT, is a well-known neurotransmitter in migraine. Its receptors are expressed in various locations in the trigeminovascular system. Tryptans, have a high affinity for the 5-HT1B and 5-HT1D receptors, which, via stimulation of the 5-HT1B receptors on smooth muscle cells, causes cranial vasoconstriction. Recently, it has been questioned whether vasoconstriction is necessary for the abortion of migraine pain, combined with the cardiovascular safety concerns. This prompted a shift in focus to the 5-HT1F receptor subtype as its activation does not constrict blood vessels. 5-HT1F receptor agonists are a novel drug class also called DITANS. 5-HT1F receptors are located on the trigeminal ganglion and secondary trigeminal neurons in the brainstem 
and ditans have been shown to act peripherally and centrally by penetrating the blood-brain barrier. Small molecule CGRP receptor antagonists, or JEPANs, have been shown to selectively bind to the CGRP receptor, therefore blocking CGRP from binding. JEPANs, like DTANs, do not cause vasoconstriction, so are also proving safe for those with cardiovascular comorbidities. Improved understanding of pathophysiology of migraine has created new opportunities for effective management. More migraine-specific treatments are being developed, and in the future, there may be the potential to tailor these treatments based on the distinct mechanisms affecting individual patients.